Hi, I'm James Hartigan, and today Poker Controls have asked me to come in and take a look at their wireless poker controller. As you can see, a mouse is fine for simple point and click exercises, but when I'm playing online poker at the sharp end with my money at stake, I want something a bit more sophisticated. Enter the wireless poker controller. Speed, comfort and accuracy. That is what this little beauty brings to my game. It enhances my poker playing experience and crucially can eliminate those costly mistakes. Well, I think you'll notice the difference. The first thing you'll see is I'm not hunched over my computer as I would be with a mouse. If you're playing a long session like that, you're going to get back pain. You're going to get a headache from staring so closely at the screen. And when you're playing poker, as you know, you don't want to be confused, uncomfortable and stressed. It can take you off your A-game and it could cost you dearly. The controller itself is a cool design. It's been designed to look and feel like a games console controller with all the features and buttons easily accessible to your fingertips. On the right-hand side of the poker controller are three dedicated bet, check and fold buttons. And these map directly to the corresponding buttons in your poker room of choice. So when I press one of these buttons, it's the same as clicking on the icon on the screen with my mouse. As these are the three main moves in the game, these buttons make it easier to maneuver and speed up the game. But the key to poker is bet sizes, and that's where the buttons on the left really make a difference. Now, on many online card rooms, there are icons which give you the option to two times bet, bet the pot, or move all in. And you can see on the left of the controller, there are five presets which allow you to bet at a specific level. Now, if you want your bet sizes to be more specific, that's where the nifty raiseometer comes into its own. This is an analog dial, a bit like that on a stereo system, which allows you to increase or decrease your bet sizes in small increments. So, by turning the dial to the right or to the left, you can select the correct betting amount with pinpoint accuracy. For me, that's so much better than grabbing your mouse, moving it to the scroll bar, and then clicking on the scroll bar and sliding it along desperately trying to select the correct bet size. Now here's the great part. If you've pressed any of those presets or used the raiseometer, you haven't actually made a bet until you press the bet button on the right. This gives you time to make a decision without making a mistake. For example, should you hit the all in button, you don't actually move all in until you've confirmed it by pressing the bet button. You've still got time to choose to check or fold. Now, let's get on to multi-tabling. I've opened another table, so let's see how the poker controller works when there's more than one table open. Well, as you can see, the table on the left has a red border around it and an icon in the top right which says table in play. I can only make action on this table. Now, if I want to switch tables, there are these two buttons which I control with my four fingers, which allow me to move between the tables. So much easier than using a mouse. If you're used to multi-tabling, say playing six or seven tables at once, you'll know that when it's your turn to act, the table will pop up in front of the others. And it could be you're about to make action on a different table and could make a really bad mistake. I can tell you the poker controller eradicates this. It doesn't let you do it. You can't make action on that table until you select that table with these buttons. So there'll never be a situation where you fold the aces and move all in with the seven deuce offsuit. The poker controller works across sites, so if there's a number of tournaments you want to play on separate card rooms, no problem. It's the same as multi-tabling. No matter how many tables you want to play on separate sites, the poker controller allows you to play on all of them with ease. Another cool feature is the tilt button. If you're feeling the pressure of the game or starting to steam slightly, you can press the tilt button and it will lock you out of all of your games for a set period of time which you select beforehand. The poker controller also has additional buttons and features. At the top of the controller, you can choose to auto post blinds, wait for the big blind, sit out or sit in, you don't have to click on the screen. There's a mouse trackpad so you can scroll through the poker lobby and pick the game of your choice. You can pick it by clicking the mouse button or hitting the enter button at the top of the controller. And remember, using the poker controller doesn't stop you from using your keyboard and mouse. So here's the thing, when there's serious money on the line, why on earth would you want to settle for second best? With the wireless poker controller, misclicks, missed moves and awkward gameplay are a thing of the past. 
this will change the way you play forever.